Okay, this problem is um, showing how to do the closing entries and then prepare the post-closing trial balance. So here is the adjusted trial balance. So again, they would have prepared a trial balance, they would have done their adjusting entries like we did in Chapter 3, and then this is their adjusted trial balance. Um, and if there was any corrections, those would have been made as well. So then now we come in and they would like us to um, close out this account as of the June 30th, 2022. So again, remember we only close out our revenues and our expenses. So as we look at this, our first account is our um, service revenue. And since that is a credit balance, so that's over here, see service revenue is a credit balance of 4,300. To close it out or to make it go zero, I'm gonna have to um, I'm gonna to have to debit that service revenue for the 4,300, and then the credit goes to what I was starting. Then the credit goes to that income summary. So then we've zeroed the service revenue out and we've put it into this temporary account called income summary. And then we're gonna do the same thing with all these expenses, except for those are debit balances so to zero those out, we're going to have to credit them. So our debit will go to the income summary. And I'm going to leave my amount blank for now. Um, I'll come back to that. So I'm going to debit, or I'm sorry, I'm going to credit salaries and wages expense. Um, and that amount is 1,344. And again, I'm gonna credit it to make it turn to zero or zero out. My miscellaneous expense, I'm gonna credit that as well for 256. And my supplies expense, I'm going to credit that for the 1900. And then the salaries and wages payable is a liability, so that's okay. So we just wanted to zero out the income and then the expenses. So then if I come back up here, now my total of my expenses are, um, I don't have a cal. Let me bring up a calculator real quick. See if I can scooch it over here. No. Okay. So we've got one three four four plus two fifty six plus nineteen hundred. So that's thirty five hundred dollars as our expenses. And again, we're zeroing those out. Then our income summary then now at this point is gonna be the 4,300 minus the 3,500. So that's $800 of, um, of, of a credit. So to, and the credits, the credit of 4,300 is larger than the 3,500. So then again, it's a credit balance. So now we're going to debit that to zero that out because that too is just a temporary account. And then we're going to credit our retained earnings. Now the other account that is temporary and that we zero out is dividends. So if we come back over here, our dividends paid are $628. So then we are going, our, that's a debit, we need to credit it. It comes out of our retained earnings, or we close, I should say, we, we close it out of our retained earnings. It, it initially came out of cash. When they initially paid it, they would have credited cash and debited dividends. Now that we're closing those out, because it's a temporary account for the year, we're gonna credit our dividends of 628 and then debit our retained earnings.
slide this down here. Okay, then we'll come up and we'll prepare a post-closing trial balance. So then now what accounts do we still have? So we still have cash for 3712. We still have accounts receivable. Let me maybe try to make this a little bigger. Our accounts receivable are 3904. And I guess let me go back up here too and make my put in my debit and my credit column so we're not as good as the worksheet but at least we're going to get them lined up okay then our um, supplies are 480 our accounts payable Our one five five six, our unearned revenue, one hundred and sixty, and then now our retained earnings. Remember, they'll look over at our closing entry. So if our retained earnings started at 1,006, sorry, let me bring this up again. Um, our retained earnings started at 1,760. Then we added to it this $800 um, of net income. But then we subtracted from that the dividends paid. So then our ending balance should be 1,932. Then the rest of the accounts that it showed, no, sorry, salaries and wages payable are down there too. Those are 448. So then now we should be able to kind of double check these. Let me see if I can't try to move my calculator. Whoops. No. I don't know why it doesn't let me move this calculator, darn it. Wait, there you go. I can move the box. Move that up there. Okay, so then we'll take our 3712 plus the 3904 plus 480. And those are our debits, so I'll push equals. That's 8,096 in debits. And then if we subtract out our credits, I think I did something wrong in my, it seems like that's too high. Oh, I see what I'm doing. All right, let me clear these out. Oh, I missed the common stock. That's where I'm off, sorry. The common stock, if we look over here, is right past our unearned revenues. Common stock. Okay. 
So three, seven, one, two, plus three, nine, oh, four, plus four, eighty. Those are my assets, then minus, or sorry, those are my, those are my debits, then minus my credits to just make sure we balance. And we do. So then our, de our debits equal our credits, and then that is our post-closing trial balance.